Hey man, to talk about something that uh, Whoopi Goldberg said on The View. You know, y'all, I, I'm getting a little sick of Whoopi. She needs to shut the hell up. Um, Y'all know about the whole thing with the Kendall Jenner Pepsi commercial and how it got slammed and how Pepsi, you know, eventually pulled that ad. Well, I guess on The View today, Whoopi came to the defense of Kendall Jenner. Um, basically, what she was saying is like, you know, if we're going to be talking about uh, cultural uh, appropriation, then black women need to uh, stop wearing white lady hair. Yeah, y'all, that's what Whoopi said. We need to stop wearing white woman hair. She said that this was just simply a bad commercial you know, with all the images that that were portrayed in the commercial. But y'all see, I have a, a problem with Whoopi Goldberg. Now, um, I haven't watched The View in years. It, all that talking over each other annoys me, so I, I just can't get into them anymore. But Whoopi has said quite a few things over the years that have rubbed me the right way. Uh, the wrong way. She has also done done some things that have rubbed me the wrong way. Years ago, um, Whoopi was dating actor Ted Danson from Cheers. You know, he was Sam on Cheers, white guy. And Whoopi and him showed up to um, some type of Hollywood event in blackface. You know, she thought that was funny. Now, at that event, there were a lot of um, black uh, actors and actresses. One of them was Denzel Washington and his wife. And they were so upset and so outraged that they got up and left. And um, she tried to, you know, defend herself and backpedal on that. But, you know, she got blasted for that. And then over the years, we know Whoopi has said some things about, you know, or coming to the defense of these other people in Hollywood when the things that they have done have been indefensible. Now, y'all, when Whoopi said that, when I read that she said, then black women need to stop wearing white women's hair. Let me just ask the question. First of all, whose hair do white women wear? Because actually, they put in, you know, extensions and hair pieces, and they wear wigs as well. And, and then secondly, we can wear whatever in the hell that we want to wear. You know, she says, um, if you want to be culturally appropriate, then we should be rocking our own natural hair. You know, and there are some of us that do prefer, you know, our natural hair. And then there are others that like to try different things, you know. And I just don't like what she did. And then when she said that, you know, that thing about them black women need to stop wearing white lady hair, the audience applauded. You know, you get that, that little bit of tea there. They applaud it. Now, y'all, I don't like to talk about the way that people look or anything. But Whoopi, she could do some little cleaning up, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. My mother, she watches The View. I think she probably watches it every day. And my mother has been saying for years that she was ashamed of the way that Whoopi Goldberg presents herself, comes on the view looking. Now, it aggravates my mother so much. Now, the reason why I don't give it to my mother when she's complaining about Whoopi, because my mother goes, you know, all the way to the left. She cannot stand the way this woman dresses. Let me just start with some of the things that my mother has complained about when it comes to Whoopi's looks. First of all, you know that Whoopi doesn't have any eyebrows 
And the reason why she doesn't have any, she says, is because she shaves them off. Now, I could see you wanting, you know, your eyebrows to be really thin. But to completely shave them off, it makes you look like an alien. I mean, she, it doesn't even make sense why she does it. She says that they were itching her and she shaves them off. Now, these are the things that my mother has told me. My mother also said that Whoopi commented about not wearing a bra all the time. And I think from what my mother says that she may not wear a bra most of the time. Now, Whoopi is not a young girl, and Whoopi has also not had a boob job. So the mother time has pulled her boobs down. So you know her boobs are a little hangy then if she's not wearing a bra. And then also another thing that aggravates my mother is the fact that Whoopi Goldberg doesn't try to wear makeup. My mother thinks that the lipstick that Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> wears, now this is my mother's words, y'all. She said that her lipstick is too dark. It looked like she's been kissing the crack of somebody's shit-stained ass. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, that's my mother. My mother says that even if she doesn't like, um, you know, to wear full out you know the whole makeup game that she could at least let them put her on you know some powder and even her skin out you know just to she doesn't have to have all eyelashes and all of that but do a little bit you know to 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 enhance what you have then y'all don't let my mother get on the way that would be goldberg dresses child my mother will keep talk about her for the way that Whoopi Goldberg dresses for five, six hours. She hates the stuff that Whoopi um, wears. I would be at work and come home and happen to talk to my mother. And my mother knew I was at work and she would be saying something like, girl, did you shit see that shit that Whoopi Goldberg had on on The View today? Now my mother knows I wasn't home when it was on, but she would go on and on about, um, how simple she looked and why does she wear these big oversized men looking clothes my mother would be going off y'all she would say stuff like um because my mother has seen Whoopi Goldberg's legs before and my mother has said that she thought that Whoopi Goldberg has uh pretty shaped legs and wonder why she doesn't wear skirts and stuff more often but then she came back with maybe it's because she walks like a fucking cowboy <laughs> in heels and in dresses <laughs> so i was like well ma you know and then okay can we talk about Whoopi Goldberg shoes Y'all, it take my mother to talk about some of these shoes that Whoopi Goldberg wears. My mother calls them witchy witch shoes. She says she does not know where this bitch is getting these shoes from. Y'all, my mother be cracking me up talking about Whitney Houston. I mean, uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Why am I saying Whitney Houston? Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. I think Whoopi aggravates my mother so much with how she just doesn't take the time to to pull herself together my mother even goes on to say now i'm just now these are my mother words my mother's words y'all i just want to talk like my mother my mother will say something like the bitch don't even have to do her own makeup they got people there to do that for her the bitch don't even got to even pick out her clothes they have stylists to do that she could have a team that comes in and looks at her body and dresses her she says she can dress casually but does she have to look like she been cleaning the house I mean, y'all my mother be going off on whoopie goldberg i cannot do anything but laugh my mother says she comes on television looking like she's um about to clean the house instead of you know appearing on a nationally broadcast television show y'all i think that whoopie i don't know what's up with her
you know, when they had uh, Lil Raven Simone on, on there. Was that her name? I'm so Raven, girl. I, I didn't watch the shit, so I don't know. But, yeah, her and Whoopi, they would say stuff sometimes that made you want to reach through the TV and smack the shit out of them as a black person. Because for Whoopi to go on television and single out black women is where, you know, white lady here, when she already knows that black women, you know, the women in the black community already get, you know, blasted for, you know, wearing weaves and stuff. She's playing into it, you know? You can defend Kendall Jenner without putting down, you know, black women. You know, you something else will be. Because we've been straightening our hairs, uh, hair, we've been putting perms in our hair, all kinds of stuff, you know, to fit into this whitewash world. And then there are just women out here that just like to change their hair. They like to change their color. They like to change from short to long. They just want to change. Everybody will be, does not want to go around, as my mother calls you, looking like a wash maiden. Now, I don't know what a wash maiden is, but that's what my mother says that um, Whoopi Goldberg looks like. And like I said, y'all, I think the thing that annoys my mother the most, I don't know if it's her no eyebrow having ass or if it's those witchy witch shoes. That's what my mother calls them. So, y'all, I wanted to know, did y'all see this comment? that she made about us wearing white lady hair and you know what did you think about when she said that and the fact that the audience which was mostly white applauded you know like yeah stop wearing our hair you know why would she do that y'all sometimes you know and, and, you know, now that I think about it, my mother is right. You could fix yourself up. I mean, her dreads are beautiful. She done had them for years. But, my God, it's it's uh, a lot of uh, people that wear dreads and some of the styles that they make with it. And, you know, they have on their big earrings and their makeup is popped and their, their wardrobe is snatched, you know. I, I just don't know, y'all. I don't want to go in on Whoopi, but y'all know what I mean. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. You know, here we go, Whoopi. You um, put your foot in your mouth once again because you could have left it at a certain point without going there. And then I wonder, like, after she says these things, does she go back to her dressing room and say, damn, I shouldn't have said that, you know? So let me know what y'all think. Once again, thanks for watching my video. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. And you have a good evening. Bye-bye now.